All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing a person catching a snowflake with their tongue. So let's get going. All right, so I found this lesson online. I have it on my phone right now. Um, actually, you know what? I could probably show it to you guys. It's this one right here. And hopefully I can zoom in so you can see it. Um, but basically, uh, the nose is pointing up. Uh, you can't really see the face at all. You can see the mouth though. In the mouth, uh, you can see the tongue's sticking up, it's really cute, you can see some teeth, and a nice uh, festive, it doesn't have to be festive, uh, a sweater, and a bunch of snowflake around. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do this on blank paper. Uh, you can do it on colored paper like how they did. You might have better luck with a snowflake and how you can do it with like a, a white crayon or something. But um, I'm gonna try to do it with white paper and see how that works. So anyways, let's get going. All right, let me just put this to the side. There we go. And then let's start off by saying that uh, it's better off for you guys to have your paper uh, vertically like this, so up and down, also known as portrait mode. But for me, um, since I'm filming and how you view the video is kind of more horizontal, um, I am gonna put my paper like this, uh, but I'll make sure I have a space so you guys can see me, which is probably, I'm gonna be probably right here <laughs> with the camera. And then um, I'll make sure that uh, it looks good still. All right, so first of all, let me just draw a border. That way you can still see that it is gonna be um, vertical. So let me just draw my lines here. So I wanna create a border right around here. Let me do pencil. Probably a border right here. Kind of taking my guess here. All right, I think I might wanna have a border right here. And one last one right around here. Okay, so now that's my border, and I can probably start drawing now. So the first thing you wanna do is draw the head, and you wanna draw a little bit of a curve on top for the nose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my head. So my head's gonna be looking like this. From here, going around, and then going back up. And then I'm gonna draw my nose right about like this. If you wanna add nostrils, you can. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, my examples over here don't have any nostrils, but uh, I think I'm gonna leave it. You know what? I'm gonna add nostrils. Why not? It's gonna be one teardrop there, one teardrop here. And then I'm gonna add the mouth. So I'm gonna draw my mouth like this, nice and wide. There we go. And then I'm gonna add a tongue, just like so. And then instead of drawing each teeth individually, I think I'm just gonna add a row of teeth just by going like that. And then maybe adding some lines here and there to symbolize that there are separated teeth in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, with that said, um, I don't wanna color anything yet. I'm really tempted to color the mouth uh, black since I have a black uh, marker right now, but uh, I will resist. Uh, so let's add the scarf next. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a rectangle on the bottom. Obviously you can't do the top of the rectangle. And then a little bit of a rectangle uh, kind of sticking out. That's gonna be for the scarf. I'm gonna add two pieces here and there. Nice and well. All right, and then I want my scarf to be decorated with stripes. You could decide to decorate any way you want. This is just the way how I want it. And then I'm gonna do vertical stripes for this part right here. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna add the sweater. So I'm gonna go from this point right here and go over and down. And then from here, over and over like that. That way, at least, it looks a little different. There we go. I mean, you don't have to do those parts, you don't have to. But uh, that's the way I, how, how I wanna do it. I just wanna add hair, you can. I'm gonna add a little bit of hair. It could be a hat, I guess. There you go. A little bit of hair. <laughs> All right, since this is on white paper, I'm gonna have to draw my snowflakes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a pencil. I'm gonna add X's, followed by pluses on top of each other like this. And then on some of them, I'm gonna draw an X, followed by just a, vertical line and then on the tip of each of them I'm just gonna draw tiny V's 
and it should look like a snowflake. There we go. So I'm going to try to make as many snowflakes as I can with pencil. Alright, and then maybe a couple of them with these. this one down here okay there's that all right all there's left is to do some patterning so that's what I'm gonna try to do so maybe on the sweater I'll add some red stripes with some zigzags maybe I'll add some teal with some diagonal stripes I look pretty neat. And I am smearing. I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> That's my fault. Alright, let's move on to another color. Let's do purple. I guess I could do um, triangles here. That would be pretty neat. Okay. And then next one, I think I should do blue. That'd be pretty cool. I think for this one I'll do vertical stripes. And then last but not least, I think I'm just gonna fill the bottom half with a little bit of green. All right, I don't need to look at my example anymore. Now it's just about coloring it. So that's what I'm about to do. Let me do the tongue. If I can find a red here. Okay, tongue's red. Gotta try to keep the teeth white. While I have the black out, I can try to color in the mouth. Best of my ability. There we are. Now I gotta be really careful because this is a marker, so I don't wanna smear the black everywhere. Alright, the so closest thing I have to skin tone is this color right here. I'm gonna try to do my best to try to not to ruin the marker. There we go, one half the face done. Let's do the other half now. All right, and then let me go down and over. Oh, I smeared a little bit. That's my fault. All right, um, I didn't mean to smear, but there's nothing I can do about that. That's my own fault. All right, let's continue on. Maybe I can make my scarf a little orange. Here and there. Maybe I'll add some yellow to my scarf. And then I guess I can add I can add crayon. I think that'll look better. Why don't I trace the border first in blue? That'd be pretty neat. There we go. And then let me shade the inside with a sky blue crayon. There we go. I'm a little sloppy today, I apologize. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in a rush. Okay, I think um, I could color the sweater a little better, but um, I think you guys understand uh, the majority of what you should be doing. Besides the uh, little bit of smudging with my hand, uh, I think that turned out pretty well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye-bye.